Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video I will show you a game between David Paravian and Maxim Vashilagrav. This is a game from the World Cup played in Krasnaya Polyana in 2021. David Paravian had white pieces and he started with e4. Maxim Vashilagrav played c5, the Sicilian defense. Knight to f3, d6, d4. C takes on d4, knight takes on d4, knight to f6, attacking the pawn on e4, defending, knight to c6, and now bishop to g5. This is known as the Richter Rausa variation of the Sicilian defense. e6, queen to d2, a6, and Paravian castled, queen's side. Bishop to d7, white to move, f4 f3 and bishop to e2 are the three most played moves. Paravian played knight takes knight on c6. Bishop takes knight, bishop to d3, bishop to e7 and pinning, king to b1, this is the right square for the king, b5, the pawn storm on the queen side, f3. 3. Defending the pawn on e4 and perhaps preparing the pawn storm on the king's side. Knight to d7 offering to trade the dark squared bishops and the offer was accepted. Bishop takes bishop. Queen takes bishop. Rook from h to e1. Knight to c5. Bishop to f1. Threatening queen takes pawn on d6. Defending the pawn on d6, white to move. This is a very important moment of the game. Perhaps g4 and the pawn storm on the king side was expected. Instead, Paravian played b4. This looks risky at first. But this is actually the best move. Let's see why. Knight to b7 was played. It is white to move. What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? David Paravian played this awesome move. Knight to d5, sending the knight in the fire. Attacking the queen, daring black to take the knight. Queen to d7. Let's take it back. What happens if pawn takes knight? Then e takes on d5. And white is winning. Back to our game. That is why in this position, MVL played queen to d7, queen to c3, king to f8. Perhaps some players would castle king's side. What happens then? What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? This is what happens then. Queen takes bishop on c6. And if queen takes queen, then check. And then knight takes queen. And let's go back. What if in this position e takes on d5? Then e takes on d5. And white stands better. Back to our game. That is why MVL played king to f8. Queen to a3. Attacking the pawn on a6. Rook to b8. What's wrong with rook to a8 defending the pawn? Then knight to b6 is unpleasant. Back to our game. Rook to b8. Queen takes pawn. White is a pawn up and black has no compensation for the lost pawn. Knight to d8. Let's take it back. If e takes on d5, then e takes on d5. White stands much better. The bishop is strapped. Back to our game. Knight to d8. Knight to c3. h5. Intending rook to h6. Bringing the rook in the game. Rook to d2. Intending to double the rooks on the d file. Rook to h6. Rook from e to d1. e5. g3. Queen to c7. Queen to a5 with an extra pawn. 
Paravian wanted to simplify into the winning endgame. Queen takes queen, pawn takes queen, b4, knight to d5, knight to e6, knight to b6, knight to d4. The black knight is now well placed on d4. White to move. What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Paravian played rook takes knight kaboom the exchange sacrifice e takes on d4 rook takes on d4 rook to b7 perhaps h4 should have been considered rook to b7 rook to c4 bishop to e8 rook to c8 pinning the bishop rook to e6 a6 Rook to a7. If rook takes knight, then a7. And the pawn promotes back to our game. Rook to a7, blocking the pawn. But white played a move and black resigned, and the move is rook to b8. MVL resigned. For the entertainment purpose, I will show you just one line. d5. Knight to c8. Rook from a takes on a6 bishop takes rook rook takes bishop e takes on d5 f6 d6 king to f7 rook to b7 check king to f8 d7 bishop takes pawn rook takes bishop white is a piece and a pawn up and i guess we can stop here what a brilliant game by David Paravian. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.